66 million years to burn out by Gabriel Bella. From a foreign universe, there came three burning stars. To a new universe, a trillion years far, from the two of which will born a new star from which they will love. A, p- a particular one that I say, living, speaking, burning in a weird way. But for the star, in- ignorance is bliss. But these are the signs are going to be used and going to be dismissed. When I fell into the universe, named the particular one, being a smooth shaped fireball that led a million, million years away, I was free, freely colliding with the other stars, growing and becoming denser as the years go by. Then I met a collage of other stars, the stars that were shining bright with various colors, red, blue, orange red, and bright yellow. But I did collide with them, not a bit. I was orbiting around them while they were, were revolving, revolving, revolving around me. They were burning so hard and bright that they were th- th- vaporizing afterwards. But out of the dozens, there were one star that was important to me, the bright blue star. The bright blue blue star was important to me because I was, have been with it since I was six million years old and always been kind. Bouncing and front, front, throwing sulfurs to show off who's the biggest and who has the biggest coordinate diameter. But th- this was a coping mechanism within my core. Within my universe is a magnetic force unbalance with the stars who birthed me. The stars that were was the stars that was born before me was br- brighter than me, has a bigger soul filler for me, and has a bigger core for me. This made both parents manic pulled towards the star while leaving me leaving me the particular one f- furthest alone in my own cor- corner of my own universe spiraling out of control and making me believe that I have no manic force or core that will please them why 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 I keep telling myself and r- people around me in the end they don't understand me. I don't understand me. As the particular one, I have something that makes it hard for others to understand and for me to understand my, own, my emotions and sisseration. Cis- something that might be a condition that makes it abnormal the way I might use my magnetic my my force or how how I use my soul first, or how I, I communicate, but I don't. Uh, but I don't know. Altogether, making me feel like, like the stars who birthed me were there, like in saying that I was, or was it the stars that they b- both birth? Only talking of being pulled towards me to say how I'm a smooth shape ball of fire. This made me self-conscious, sobbing with soul flares, and make me feel like I'm out of control of my own decision, or oh, the chance to feel wanted. So I turned to Billion, the other stars that were revolving around me, because it felt good and to physically control what I can't control, my emotions. The raging emo- emotions that were petal like the core of a dwarf star, Shining under extremely, an extre- extremely dense surface, where it took a spot when the time is right in a dazzling, colorful supernova that is light years long, finally given up on hiding it and feel, feeling relief. And then I started doing it to the other stars that were revolving around me, even, even to the bright blue star, and it's orbiting stars. Each time, in each million years, the magnetic force would expand for the revolving stars, and as they become denser, not equally among us, as each 
one of us would become bigger and denser each year, each year, at different levels. The blue star would become exponentially denser and bigger as the years go by. At this point, with all the unbalance in my universe and the comparison among my stars, I have developed a inferiority complex, where you feel that your core and your surface is small and weak compared to your to your stars. And as you become denser, the asteroids would keep on pulling towards you, and the revolving involving around you as a reminder of your failures. This became so bad that I was clouded in resentment and pent up emotions as the grey asteroids would block my emotions and get in the way of how I communicate and view people. Clouded in this state, my core and emotions will become worse, becoming wonky as I was expected to grow and become physically denser. I blame the possible condition condition I might have for this complex, but that was a mistake. As I became more clouded with asteroids, I became resentful of my stars. I became slow to grow and became hollow, feeling that I'm out of my own galaxy, 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 and universe, feeling that I'm a trillion light years away from them, and the brilliant guilt. Of the past, the manic force would become weaker as I started to orbiting around all of them. Some stars would come close, making and changing orbiting positions that would would pull me back among them. But this doesn't usually last long, as the grey asteroids will block my manic force. Crowding around me from huge to small chunks. It would separate the strings that kept me pulled towards them. So after 14 million years, I was officially out of their orbit, drifting into nothingness that is the universe, being dark with trillions and trillions of gleaming stars of every color yet so far. Trying to drift, communicate, and magnetically pull towards a new set of stars, and the archers of my past would drift me to another direction, leave me wandering around the universe, re- repeating cycles with no, new, with no new results, leave me to burn out.